Silvia Gruner is one of the most original voices in Latin America, not only because she is, um, her work is very powerful, but because she contributed to the creation of a very strong field of contemporary art. Silvia Gruner has been working in experimental film and video and photography since the late 1980s. She works in an, an analogical media, but her work, you know, um, presents the digital media as a problem to come. My name is Tatiana Cuevas. I'm an independent curator and I'm working with Gabriela Rangel and Silvia Gruner on her solo exhibition at the America Society. Well, people coming to the exhibition will see um, a very compact selection of Silvia's practice. You know, it's just, uh, it's a, it's a very precise selection of works that span from her early practice in the, in the 80s and uh, it goes to a very a newly produced work um, a couple of years ago, well, in, in 2014. Mexico probably is the most important platform for contemporary art in the region. If you go to, to any museum in Mexico, you'll see what, what I mean by this. And I invited her as a Mexican contemporary curator to choose works that were very difficult to be condensed in a space like this, because Silvia Gruner has a lot of work. She has developed a very interesting and very personal practice, and it's been based on uh, mostly the notions of identity within the collective, but based in her personal experience and her personal um, ideas and her personal uh, conflicts as well in developing her own identity. They're going to find an, a very funny artist who deals with universal themes and who also brings back themes that are classical. A series of uh, tasks that she repeats consistently and this repetition seems like absurd sometimes but it, it, uh, through the repetition itself there are ideas that become uh, sort of resolved. Hemispheres was a piece proposed by the artist to be uh, presented here. It's a new piece that she's been elaborated in the last couple of years. And because the, we were going to present the piece here, we decided that that piece will be the mapping principle for the exhibition. And the piece consists in a two-channel video installation in which she presents you know, a very simple um, action, which is to roll a thread that it's been wrapping the space of the two gardens of her house and it, it was like a process of pouring out her mind and the structure of her mind into the space and then taking it back. I am Theodora Dulamas and uh, I did the exhibition design for Hemispheres. It was very important for the observer to understand the space in which she uh, worked and created and where the videos took place. That's why I found it was important to create um, a site-specific uh, installation with custom-made screens that were transparent so the viewer could really walk around and see uh, the process of wrapping in three dimension and feel like they're really understanding the way that the work was created. So the piece is about the brain. How do you think? How do you feel? And how do you uh, construct, you know, your your um, emotions and feelings in a world so complicated as the world that we live in?